Hello, and welcome back to Pod Popper's Place and a Team Tiny Hop. So this month we were supposed to use a background stamp or stencil, and I didn't quite do that. I used a background um, die. Sometimes when you get an idea, you just have to roll with it, and I hope you'll forgive me for not quite going along the guidelines, but um, I did want to share this with you. So I just put some double-sided adhesive tape on some sturdy... Um, white background cardstock, and then I'm going to use this deco foil um, rainbow foil, and it's not foil that you could use like in your glimmer, it's just um, stick on foil. So I like it because it's fast and easy, but I do have to say that it does scratch fairly easily, so you do need to be kind of careful when you're laying this out. And I would recommend maybe covering it if you're going to have this. Um, much of a of a foil on your um, card so that it doesn't get scratched up when I after I had finished it I thought oh I should have um, covered it with maybe some clear um, packing tape or I could have put some vellum over the top of it it would have dulled the color a little bit but um, it would have protected some of that um, foil um, from getting scratched. So this is my background um, plate that I cut and I cut out like I think three um, thick pieces of cardstock and glued them all together. This is where I don't know why I didn't use my um, double-sided adhesive sheets to cut those out. Although I have cut them out with this before and it's very hard to pop out all those little hearts um, with the adhesive sheet because it's just so sticky. So I did use my Glimmer machine to do this um, happy anniversary and it had a little extra spot on there so I'm using one of those mono um, adhesive erasers and it worked really pretty well to get rid of that little spot and I love that the um, spell binders come with some dies to cut these uh, sentiments out and I wanted to use some of these um, champagne glass dies and some deco foil adhesive to do some gold um, also the same kind of foil as the rainbow background where it's the just the stick on kind and I used way too much glue here so you can see I'm just kind of um, putting some on that's going to be like the inside of the glass but um, after I put this down and I run it through my big shot to get it nice and and pressed down on there I realized I used way too much glue because it kind of squished out on the sides and I had a lot of kind of a mess that I needed to go back in and erase uh, with that mono adhesive um, uh, sand eraser and it did actually work really really well to get um, that gold out of the areas that I didn't want it um, because this could have been um, pretty much throwaway items if it hadn't worked properly. The next thing I wanted to do was to use some clear vellum over the top of this gold so that it looked more of a glass effect and the gold wasn't quite so um, obvious and it looked like it was actually champagne inside of the um, flute there. So I used the same die and I cut out some um, vellum and you can see it stuck really well to my new um, plate that I had. I like to use a new plate with um, vellum just so it doesn't get any impressions on there. And I was really careful about where I put my glue so that it wouldn't um, show too much. Um, I, I it This glue does dry clear and so it worked pretty well but I just wanted to be really careful about where I put my glue and how much glue I put on there so hopefully it wouldn't show through the vellum and it worked out really well and then I added some uh, little IG2 um, Spectral Noir um, highlights to some areas of the glass. It's not super obvious to see, especially on camera, but it does make a difference with a little bit of shading on there so that it hopefully looks a little bit more um, glass-like. The next step in my process here, I actually kind of regret. Um, it does look pretty, but um, it just 
it got too wet. So I used a shimmer pen and added some gold um, glitter because I wanted to look like, you know, bubbly champagne, right? Um, but it got the vellum way too wet. So it took a while for it to dry and then it kind of left it um, a bit wrinkly. So I don't know if I would have done that um, if I did this again. And then I added some a um, little bit of bling to it uh, three different sizes, three different kind of colors. Um, it's funny because they actually looked more gold on the um, the glass plate, but then once you put it on top of the vellum, they actually looked more um, clear and silver. So it was very interesting that they kind of changed um, shades like that. So, and then I'm just um, seeing how I want to lay this out. I wasn't actually sure if I wanted to use the um, wine or champagne glasses because I didn't want to cover up the beautiful background. I just, I don't know, I just didn't feel like it was um, decorated enough. So um, I did cut some extra pieces of the happy anniversary out so that it was more uh, set up off the page. And I didn't want to use foam tape because it's kind of a skinny thing. So I just used like three or four of the um, pieces cut out again and then um, once I laid this out I, I decided I liked it enough and and wanted to keep the wine glasses on there um, and show the heart in the center and um, so the last step in my process was I just uh, decided to use double-sided adhesive tape to put this on my uh, card base because it kind of was thick and heavy um, with all the layers on there and um, I just used my um, scoreboard to line that up properly because I'm really only going to have one shot at getting it lined up since I am using the double-sided adhesive. So thanks so much for watching. Please check out all the other contributors in the hop by searching for our hashtag.